What's up, guys? So today I just wanted to talk with you a bit about what I think makes manga special, you know, compared to so many other mediums, things like comic books, graphic novels, movies and television. I've done a lot of thinking about what draws me to, to manga or anime, and it's something that I've had an attraction to since I was like a young kid, right? Since I hadn't even hit double digits ages. Like genetically, I have no link to Japan, you know, like I don't have any family members from there. There was nothing in my surroundings culture outside of these maybe books or these things that I would see on TV that attracted me to this culture but I find myself having some sort of lure or pull to, to this medium right to, to this culture and to this form of art and I just really thought like what is it and there's definitely the visual element right I think that manga and anime have some very striking visuals that you just don't see in the west I love the way that certain things animate I love the expressiveness of certain characters and how unique they look but it isn't just this, you know, like there's a lot of other things in a number of other cultures that have striking visuals. But what is it about manga and anime and that these aspects of Japanese culture that really keep drawing me back in? And the more I think, the more I realize that manga seems to be one of the last bastions of creativity left. We live in a time where everything is sanitized, you know, everything has to conform to certain levels of acceptability and to be socially OK and to not not ruffle any feathers and not hurt anybody and i think that this dilutes of this dilutes so much of what makes art and artistic expression special or unique in the first place when you do not allow a creative person to create the vision that they have in their mind and that they have in their head and you don't allow them to do everything that they can to bring this into the world when you don't allow them to properly express themselves you dilute that very thing that makes them special in the first place you know you waste their gift you destroy their gift and this is what i see a lot in a lot of western media you know not all of it like this isn't me going on a long rant to say that Japan's always the best and like me unsheathing my katana and talking about Japan not having any faults it certainly does but one thing that I admire about the cultural expressiveness over there when it comes to manga is that the people who are in who are creating within this medium um, using manga as a platform to express themselves they have a tendency to be no holds barred in the way they create they send the messages they want to send they create the images that they want to make and they seemingly don't give a rat's ass about what everybody else is going to think of it and i love that i love that so much about the medium of manga there are stories that come to mind things like gods things like ichi the killer just a lot of these things that may be deranged may well they're certainly not for everybody and if certain people saw them they're like you need to go on an fbi watch list <laughs> like they're just they're gruesome they're weird and they're all over the place but they're unique you can't read these some of these stories and say that like oh well here goes another one out of the cookie cutter you know like everybody's making stories like these nowadays they are not <laughs> And these are stories that definitely are not going to have mass appeal. But at the same token, for those who get what the author is going for, for those of a certain mindset who are OK with certain forms of self-expression and they they love to see an artist be able to create art. Manga seems to be one of the last places where this is allowed to happen. And I think that this is really what makes it special for me. I appreciate the fact that many of these mangaka seem to be like black sheep, you know, that Japan can be a very stifling culture. It can be one where like the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. That's a famous mantra over there. So it is not this place where inherently those that think differently or might be considered quote unquote weird are allowed to express themselves freely. But a lot of these people seem to find their ways into creative avenues, things like animation, manga and stuff like that. And I feel a connection with them based on <laughs> their weirdness, you know, their ability to express themselves and these crazy ideas in their artwork is something that re relates heavily with me because in reality human beings are complex there's a certain social mass that we have to put up but behind that social mass there's a lot of weirdness you know we're we're sexual creatures we're violent creatures we're jealous creatures there's all these emotions and intense things that make us human beings but in 
the social landscape we're not allowed to express these things because they because of how they get seen you know because of how people would judge you or make you feel bad for showcasing these emotions but in manga they're allowed to be front and center <laughs> like these authors are as horny as they want to be they're as graphic and showing messed up torture scenes and allowed to put out they're allowed to showcase their id you know and we right now we live in a time where your id has no place and i, I just realized i'm throwing out lingo over here but the id right when you're talking about psychology you have like the ego the super ego and the id these are really old psychological concepts but the id is basically one's unconscious desires one's subconscious desires however you want to put it the things that are deep within us that we want on a primal level but are not socially acceptable so they have to like boil down at the bottom right there are things like sex there are things like violence there's things there are things that are these really intense emotions that we all know we have but are very rarely allowed to be put out front manga to me is one of the last places where people can express this side of themselves and to me this is the most interesting thing about most people <laughs> you know these emotions and these things that we feel related to our like unconscious desires and stuff like that like they're all things that we want they're all things that we resonate with they're all things that most people can relate to but nobody wants to talk about and i respect so much the people that have the balls to talk about it the people have, that have what it takes to show these things to the world and cr create their art without worrying so much about it's just going to be popular how are people going to take this they're human right like i know that there's those feelings have to be there to some extent but they don't allow it to stop them from creating and i'm so thankful for authors like this people like Hiroya oku and like so many others that create these stories that just would have no other space in another medium like you, you're not going to find this in western movies or like comic books and things like that and like it's it's just because of the landscape right now like these people that want to create something different that are trying to make different stories are not allowed breathing room in our culture right now i wish they were i wish that we had more of a free platform for these people to go out and create these stories without being lambasted or just other things but this is what attracts me to manga I believe it's that the level of raw honesty and the ability for people who are truly creative to express themselves in an unfiltered way do you feel like we're in a heavily censored sort of time in history do you feel like oh, I'm capping over here am I completely wrong and there are an allowance for these kind of stories to be told just let me know what you think so I appreciate you guys listening to me and I'll see you in the next video.